Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and package your own design into an IP block so that you can use it in Vivado's uh, block design workflow. Take a simple Verilog design as an example. If you ever deal with video design, you know from time to time you need to uh, shovel around the RGB channels in the parallel domain. So this very log is just simply select different input and route to different output channels based on the uh, parameter settings at the beginning. So to package your IP, you need to go into the project mode. You need to create the project. Just use the default settings from Vivado. You can use any devices for this purpose. So once the project is opened, you can go in into the uh, create and package IP mode. You can create an ASIC submodule or package a folder. We'll pick the folder that contains the source file. You can create a name for your design. Once Bovado opens the design, it automatically generates some uh, identification compatibilities and also the files that should be in the IP. As you can see, there's some uh, parameters from the source file. Bovado already customized those uh, parameters. We're going to set a couple more details for the parameter. For example, you can select the value range it can be used. For the third channel, because um, we have selection of two subcomponents or three subcomponents of the video, so we can put some dependency on this uh, parameter. It's only available when its three channel is selected. For the IOs, that is already from the Verilog file. We need to package this whole group of pins into a Xilinx predefined uh, interface. The purpose is that with the uh, Vivado predefined interface, you can couple this block to other Vivado IPs uh, seamlessly without connect any individual signals by yourself. When you select the uh, interface, it's already mapped the individual signal to the interface properly. You can verify if it's not, then you can select the interface and different signals to map manually. There are lots of Bovado predefined signal interfaces you can use. There's nothing to set up in the memory page. In the customized GUI page, you can move around the parameters that shows up in the final product. 
you can move up and down, or you can even add a description text. Once all done, you can package the IP. Now go back to the project design. As you can see, the IP is already show up in the IP catalog. Now create the block design. And you can select your own IP and place in the block design. The parallel video bus is depends on how many subcomponents and the bit depth of each component. So the default value is 24 bits of the parallel bus, but you can also change it to two subcomponents, for example, the YC on the SDI, 10 bit. And you can swap the Y and C channels. Now it's changed to 20 bit at the interface. Because this is the Vavado predefined video bus, so if you need to couple with other Vavado IPs, for example, the ASIC bus to video IO block, you can just directly drop in the Vavado IP and simply just draw a line to connect the bus. So this is how it works. All your IP is located in the folder where you can copy and paste to your archive location. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoy and create your own IP.